Hello everyone and welcome back to Rusty Lake, where today we're going to get into the finale of Rusty Lake Roots. We've been playing this game, uh, we've been murdering people, we've been making children with dead people. It, it's been it's been a ride, okay? It's been interesting. We, we met a bunch of interesting characters here and uh, um, what am, what, one of the questions that I got was, which character is your favorite? And I'll be honest with you, I like Rose. This chick right here. Because I know she is a byproduct of Albert and, um, Ida, who was unwilling, but, uh, she seems, like, into dark things, I guess, and... We played the Ouija board with her, and, you know, she seems pretty chill, basically. And she's very smart and talented, too, I think. I don't know, I've only known her for these four, ep three, four, three episodes. So, uh, but yeah, Rose is my answer. Frank's pretty cool, too. I mean, he seemed kind of... Like, I'm better than you as a kid, but, you know, he, he's grown up to be, you know, I feel bad for him. Um, Ida was a pretty cool character. Emma was a cool character. I mean, I hate that that happened to her. I don't know what I would do if some idiot, this guy, decided to, um basically take my kids away. I don't know what I would do. I would feel horrible. Uh, Samuel seemed pretty smug to me, and I like the James and Mary couple vibe as well. Albert can piss off, but, um, yeah, that's just my take on the characters. I like the dog, though. I think he might be my, him and Rose might be my favorites. So, let's get to the end, shall we? <laughs> Spring, 1935. Leonard, Frank, and Rose were all together. All the grandchildren. Okay. Can we go up here? Oh, we can. Okay. The Alchemist Brothers. The Crow and the Dead Man. Sam Sarah. And we have all these things. And we have this. So, M S I E A. Um, J one R O oh, Jacob. I don't know. Rose, someone. I, excuse me if I don't memorize all their names. Um. M S Ida E N A. So, um, we're all, they're all down to numbers. That's interesting. So, J is one, and we don't even have that. So, I guess all the numbers come back to, yeah, it goes M, and then S, and then I, E, A, R? Where's the R at? Oh, R is Rose, but we don't have a number for her either. We just have J is 1, and F is 3. Okay, L, well, we don't know. Okay. Can I do anything with this? I cannot. Can I do anything with you? Uh, not right now, I guess. So I guess we're trying to bring that guy back to life. Um. Oh, I'm taking their pendants. And that will open the gateway! Okay, this makes sense. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the timepieces. Okay, this looks like this. This looks like... That. And this one looks like this. Alright, there we go. 
open the gateway. Uh, oh, do I? Oh, I open the time pieces, and then we open the gateway. Are we gonna do that? No. Okay. Oh. Hi. What is going on right now? Is everyone gonna die? What are you thinking about? She she just doesn't care. Why did they want to bring this guy back to life? I don't know. Um can't What do I do, man? Can I do anything with these timepieces? I cannot. And they're in the right places because Oh wait! The clock! They all point the same way? They are. So the big hand. So it's like. It's like three. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I can make it look like that. Okay, let's do that. Come on. Okay. It's like three, and then. Or maybe it's two. Ah, there we go. Oh, um, so you just wanna do that, I'll just, okay, um, I, I mean, you do you, if it were me, I'd be like, F this shit, I'm out, but, I'm not Rose, I'm not as cool as Rose is, dedicated to her family, like she is. Oh wait, we have a couple of definite things. So, for example, this guy is definitely three, and he's the one who gave the hair, and he's the one who gave the tongue, it's definitely one. So the hair is definitely three, and the tongue, I think, the tongue is definitely one. What? Hold on. Did I mess this up? Oh, the hair is definitely three, and the tongue is definitely one. So, wait, there are a couple of threes and a couple of ones, too. Maybe this one? I mean, if that's what correct, I think we're supposed to push all of these down. Wait. Oh, they're like, they're like scales, kind of. So are we supposed to level these out? Like, the eyes are two and two. Okay, that makes a bit more sense if you think about it. Brain. Interesting. Okay. So, what's equivalent to a tongue? The tongue, the, the, the tongue doesn't move with the scale, so that's weird as well. It doesn't. This moves with the three, yeah. So maybe... If the tongue is one, and the hair is three, maybe... No, because that hair is attached to three. I don't know. I don't get this puzzle quite yet. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if there's anything that the pictures maybe could tell me. Like, maybe... It doesn't look like it, though. I, I don't know. Yikes. Okay. I'm gonna figure this out, though. I have to get everything to a certain point. Uh, so, let's try to get everything to fit, I don't know, right there? Like, right at this point. It seems like everything's going down here, too. 
let's try that. Okay. I'm going to try to get everything to go to this possible thing. I mean, this point. So, let's try that, maybe. Okay, that looks right. Um, so, got this. Let's try that. No, that's not right. Um, maybe? No, no, that's not right. Hold on. I don't... Since I can't understand the puzzle, I'm just going to guess at the puzzle. Because that's what I do best. Oh, that works. Oh, and this already kind of works. Hmm. Oh, that's perfect. Ah, uh, that's not perfect. Let's put that right there. Ah, that... The only problem is, now, is that this is a little bit up. So I have to play around with it a bit. Um, let's put this here, and maybe we can move the brain, and put that right there. Okay, let's try that one, see if that works. Nope, that still pushes up a little bit. What else can I move? Um, let's move the foot. Uh, no, no, put the eye back. Let's move the foot, and then put the blood right there. No? Still not it. Uh, what else is there? Uh, we're gonna move the brain. And do that. Uh, jeez. What else could there possibly be? Uh, I thought I was right the first time, to be honest. Uh, I mean, that makes, that makes logical sense for it to be like that. Maybe I just have this part. Maybe I just have, like, the, the, uh, the straightness, like, the, the height wrong or something. I mean, look. I don't know. Hmm. What if I just take it as that? Because... I've been playing around with it for quite a while now, and I don't, I don't really see any other way to do this. So maybe it's purposeful that that five is up a little bit. All right, let me just take a picture of that because that's what I like to do to make things a little bit easier on myself and uh, figure this stuff out too. So, if we look at S, he gave one of the eyes, and Ida gave one of the eyes. And the eyes are both one. So, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try it like this. And if it doesn't work, we're going to do a different combination that also worked. Um, so, I and S is one. Um, next, we got... We got... Um, well, M, I guess. We'll do M because she's in the middle of those two. And she gave the teeth, right? Yeah, I guess. That's what she did. I, I said that's a one, excuse me. And the teeth is a three, so we'll put that right there. And we need E and A. And R. So E is the tear, A is the brain, and R. R. E. Excuse me. Why does I keep going back? I, I want it to stay right there, thank you. So E is the brain, which is three. Ear. That says ear. I wonder if that's on purpose. E is the brain. No, A is the brain. Never mind. E is the tear. What? Stop it. 
E is the brain. Sorry. That's three. And stop it! Oh my god, Steam. You freaking. Mm -hmm. And. And the teeth is A. That's also a three. What? <laughs> Hold on. I gotta make sure this checks out. So the teeth is a three according to this. And a, the brain is also a three. And the tears. Our tears are the four actually. So E is a four. Then I just need to figure out what R is. And R is rose, and that's the blood, and that's a two. So is that working? That's not working for me. Um, maybe I did the- I probably did this wrong. So wait. I and S. They're both the eyes. They're one. Okay, I guess I did this wrong. Let's figure this out again. Uh, okay, so what I noticed is that we have um, three different types of, I don't even know, we have three types of stands. We have the golden stands, obviously, and the silver ones, and the uh, the bronze ones, and so, pre presuming that this is weight, and this hair weighs like three pounds, and three plus three is six, so maybe this weighs six pounds. And presuming that this tongue here is weighing one pound, um, and the tongue is on the five pounds, so one plus five is six. So we need another one pounded thing. But if every thing adds to six, then Perhaps what I have to do is subtract. So if if um so if these eyes and this makes no sense to me personally, this eyes that eye would weigh more than a brain or a foot, but the eyes weighed five pounds, then both of these would be five. Right? Just work with me on this. Even though that's ridiculous, why would eyes weigh more than a brain or a foot? But, you know, whatever. Um, and if we look at the M, that's the teeth. So if we look at the teeth, um, it would be three. And it's already three, so that's good, at least. Um, so if we look at the brain and... No, we'll just do it at a time. Uh, brain would also be three. It's already three. Um, if we look at the E, the tear, the tear, it's right here. That'd be four. So, so six minus four is two. So this would be two. Um, and last but not least, we have R, which is... Wait, rose, which is rose, and that's the blood, and that's two. And if we do two minus six, that would be four. So this is four then. Oh my god, that actually worked? I was under complicating it. I need to over complicate it. Wow. Balance the substance of your past lives. Now you tell me. Now you tell me. Now he gives me the hint after I already solved it. Thank you. Thank you for that. Now we have a heart.
And, uh, I guess we're, this is happening. This is happening now. Right now. Yikes. Okay. Oh. I'm just... I'm clicking on stuff. Okay. Click, click, click. And remember, if you ever want to come back to life, just uh, make your family sacrifice, basically, almost everything they have. Huh? And we're going up. Just remember, it took ten... Ten things to sacrifice to reborn one person? That's all you gotta do. Oh, so do I start giving him things? Oh. Well, come back here. I need to give you things. Wow. And you get a brain. And you get blood. And I give you eyes. And I bestow upon you a tongue. And I bestow upon you whatever that is. Tears. And a foot. Wow. Whoa. What's going on? I don't know. Looks like we're going back in time. What's going on right now, man? We're going all the way back. Back to the very beginning of life itself. Uh. Oh, Rose is actually alive! Oh, that's great. Is that that dress that that woman wears? Huh. Congratulations, you complete the family clearly. Click on more routes to find additional family secrets. That's what I said I was gonna do. Alright, the past is never d Wow, 666. Wow, original. The past is never dead. It's not even past. Whoa. Go back to your roots by finding a gold family emblem. Near every family member, use this first hint. Wait. That was the briefcase that we had in the beginning. 666. What if I do that here? Very original, guys. 666. Alright. Alright, what's going on? Oh! <gasps> wow. Okay. We're on it. So this gives us something to do with the cards. The the I Oh, this gives us like everything. Hold on. Why does this guy have this in this briefcase telling me all the things that I need? Can I grab this? No. Okay. Let's Go back and do what we know what to do. Thank you, by the way. Um, go back to the tree. Let's go up. Because I know what to do with Ida. Come here, Ida. Let's take all these off. So, I took a picture because I don't want to go back and forth and I'm lazy. Like that, you know me? So, the, the hermit is the dick. Excuse me. Um, Will of Fortune. Well, I don't have the Will of Fortune on me. Um, Death is the Upside Down Triangle. Um, like that. Uh, the Devil is the Target. Uh, the Star is this thing. The Empress. The Hangman is this, and the Empress must be this. Alright. You gonna do something? Oh, thank you. Got it. Okay. Cool. So we got Ida. Oh, so these turn gold. Okay, good. Because I definitely forget. So, 
Next, we have... The next thing I could see myself doing is Leonard. And he has his pigeons here. So, we have certain uh, directions these pigeons can go in. So, strange. Um, Alright, I have to look at this again. Oh, they have little... So, Dot, the red pigeon... Dot the red pigeon goes... Dot the red pigeon goes... Hold on. I gotta think this out. Dot the red pigeon goes on this end. And the little swirly one, r little swirly pigeon boy goes on this. Okay. Let's do that real quick. Dot the red and the swirly boy goes right here. Right? I think so. Yep, dot the red and swirly boy. Um, it looks like this one has that, that little curvature shape, um, and that goes on this one. So let's put the green one, the green one goes where the white one is, and the white one goes where he is right now. Alright, let's see if they bring back the pendant. Where'd they... Wait, did I mess this up? Hold on. Okay. He is the swirly boy. The swirly boy... Oh, I put the swirly boy in the wrong place. Okay, the swirly boy goes on the upper one. So this one. Okay. So where's the white one go? The white one... The white one goes where he is now, still. So, let's do that again. And... There we go! We got it! Perfect. Alright, we got three gold. Okay, we have to go through all the family members, though. I think... I know what to do for Alberts. This. Yes. Okay, so we have, um... This is facing the other direction. This is facing this direction. The triangle is facing up. And this is facing that direction. Alright. And we got ourselves the Empress. But we already figured that out. Right? I think I already figured out... I'm gonna take... Yeah, I'm going to take a pic picture of it just in case, because I really don't want to be going back and forth. I am I'm super lazy, after all. So, I got a picture just in case on my phone of that. And, um... Photos. Hold on. Alright, I got this. I'm double-timing. Alright. So... Next thing I can see me doing... Oh, and we go back... I can go back to where Rose is. And... Maybe I could type in Crow here? C-R-O-W? Maybe? No, that's not it. Um... What was another thing I had to type something in? I think it was... Frank, maybe? No, that's not it. Um... Hold on. He had that box that he had to open up. You can only open the large portraits. Okay. Well, dang dagnamit. What do I do? I'm at a loss. Hmm. I'm trying to figure this Samuel. Maybe I could do this. I see this as... Hold on. The big hand goes like right here and the small hand... I mean, 
The small hand goes, like, right there, and the big hand goes, like, right here. Ah, yes. Did it. Okay. I'm glad I was able to find that. Um. Okay. I'm gonna figure this out. Where can I type in crow? Um. Hmm. Alright, I don't think so. Let's go back to Emma. Hmm. What can I do with her? I don't see anything quite yet. I have to get all the answers first. Frank? Alright, Frank. Give me something good. Give me, give me something to stab that guy in the face with. Like seriously, that's what I want to do. Cause screw him. Um. Maybe there's something I missed. Okay. I did this. Oh. It's hard to see this. Three, five, two, five, one. Three, five, two, five, one. Where did I need a combination for something? Three, five, two, five, one. Three, five, two, five, one. Um, three, five, two, five, one, three, five, two, five, one. Uh, can I talk to you? I will help you. Can I type in crow again? Maybe I didn't interact with her last time. Crow. Wait, see, no, go back. C R O W Yes. A no? I don't know. I thought that would Let me try that again. Cuz I went back to the tree. So, wait. Let me interact with her. I will help you. Okay? All right. Now, C R, 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 where is it? R, O, and W. Alright, you have anything to say about that? Oh my god. Okay. Three, five, no, three, four, two, four, one. <sighs> Getting a little. Little iffy. Little iffy. Get hecked on. You were easy. Everyone else is difficult. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I just need Rose, Frank, Emma, and Mary. Then I'll be done. I'll finally be done. And know all the secrets of this weird ass family. Okay, this is, this, this right here, this is telling me, can I click on these? Hold on. Three, four, three, four, two, four, one. Aha! That took, that, that took forever. Jesus Christ. Uh, all right, Mary. What you got for me, kid? You Oh, maybe it's in his pocket. 
I don't know, they have to make it difficult on me, don't they? Of course they do. Why, why could they make it easy? They couldn't make it easy, could they? I bet it's in this pot right here, I'll be honest with you. I, I bet it's in that pot. So. Okay, I decided I'm going to go to Frank. I'm not going to leave until I figure out what's going on, because I think, I think I know that the Frank, 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 represents the Hermit. I'm pretty sure that that means. But where do I find Crow? I can look at this. I don't get it, though. Does this somehow say crow? <laughs> That's ridiculous, right? It doesn't look like the letters at all. It's strange. But can I tap these? Hmm. I hear something when I tap here. Well, let me, let me let me turn the sound up so I know I'm not going crazy. Okay, there is something going on here. I can I can hear it. Uh, so, and there has to be a reason why we're looking at it right now. So, crow though. How do I? I'm gonna just try some random things. Ooh. Ooh. This might be on a whim, but. Crow. C R O W. Oh! And I was just tapping the tap! I need to use my brain more often. And this, I know where that goes to. I'm gonna get the old snapperoo out right here. Cause well maybe I could try to remember this. So, ring finger one uh, Pinky two Middle three Index four Pinky five So one, two, three, four, five. If you can't you can't see me, but I'm I'm moving my fingers with it. So. That's how I'm going to try to memorize it. I, I don't like taking pictures so I can memorize things. Uh, I mean, it, it helps, but I like to try to do things on my own. So, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got this. Oh. Oh, I don't get a close-up thanks for nothing. Alright. One, two, three, four, five... Can, can I get a close up, please? Um, excuse me. Can I see your ring? Oh, it's not on that hand. It's on this hand. It has to be on this hand. Okay. One, two, three, four. That's not right. Hold on. One, two, three, four, four, five. Ah! Ah! And I was an idiot thinking it was on that hand. Wow. So, my really, really, really the last one is Rose. And for that, who the heckin' knows? Let me look at what I, the, uh, the evidence that I have gathered. According to the evidence, I still don't know what to do. Um, um <laughs> can you help me figure out how to get your golden piece? What can I spell? What if I say you're in a game? You are a game. There's no spaces, so that won't work. Huh? Hi, 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 hello, hello, hello. Oh, what do I say to her? What? Maybe I should just look it up. Because I've been looking at every single one. I, I just don't know what to do. I'm so sorry. I looked it up. 
And this is the only thing that I looked anything up for in this whole entire series. But what you're supposed to write is Rusty Lake. So let's do that. I don't know what happens after this. So I just looked up what you write here for the final thing. So, sorry guys. I'll do better next time. Rusty Lake. There we go. There it is. So what happened? Oh, we get a new, a whole new human being. Mr. Crow. Okay. This looks like a game I play. I have played before. Clay. Um, fire. Dirt. Lava? Air? How can you fill that up with air? Dust. Um, water and air, maybe? Cloud. No. Fire and dust oh gunpowder and, and clay plant and pot a vase nice so what if I do water plus plant that makes algae what goes good with algae water it makes a shell huh I've seen this shell multiple times before chalk what can I do with chalk chalk and air Chalk and fire, chalk and dirt, chalk and water, gunpowder, pot, small eggs, fish. I got a fish now. Okay. I was going to make a shell again. Oh, we got a tree. Interesting. Can I burn it down now? No. No fun. No fun. I'm going to burn things. Oh, we can use the lava. No, we can't. Of course we can. How can we put lava on a shelf, by the way? Oh, if I find a way to make sand. How do I make sand? Yes, we got lava. What if we add air to it? We got stone. There's no shame in guessing. Stone and air and cloud, maybe? Stone and air? Oh! Finally, I got sand, so I can make glass now. Yes! Great. I think we're gonna need that for the elixir, probably. I've always wanted a cloud in a uh, jar. Has anyone ever seen that before? A cloud in a jar? I think that's pretty cool. What can I do with these? I don't want to burn them. I don't know. Oh, we got an egg. I, I, what can I do with the egg? Alexa. I got it. Oh my god, I made it. Wait, that's not what I meant to do. Alright. Mr. Crow is going to try to live forever, I guess. I drink first, brother. Okay. I, I don't feel comfortable with this at all, but okay. Am I dead? Oh, yep, I'm dying. And we got the seed. And we're going up for my- I was him all along? And there's his nipple. Don't worry. Okay. You drink yours, man. And he becomes a crow from that. So does that mean that all the other, like, animals from Rusty Lake Hotel drank this elixir too? Ooh, pretty. Better give me the seed. Okay, I guess. There you go. And that's how it all started. I had to die. 
All right, congratulations. You found all family secrets. Thank you for playing. The story of Lost Sea Lake continues. So follow us on social media and subscribe to our newsletter. All right. That's it, everybody. So what I got is that the baby that was born from... Hold on, let me turn that down. Okay. The baby that was born from the tree is that woman from Seasons who was killed. Or at least I think it is because they use the same dress that she wore. Um, the other thing I'm wondering is how the heck did Rose get out of that situation to get the baby? Like, what? how did she do that? Did she have, like, a machete? Because I didn't see a machete. Also, why were they trying to resurrect that guy? Because, I, I don't know, was he just... Why? What's the point in resurrecting him? Or maybe it was the actual guy. Maybe just in a different body, or... I don't know everything co completely yet. But... Thank you guys, everyone, for watching. I am very much enjoying this series. I love, love, love all these puzzles. There's so much thought put into them, and it makes me think, and it makes me wonder, am I really intelligent? Probably not. But thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you in another video. Alright? Bye!